What's up, everybody? Welcome to the 50th episode of Crafting with Catherine. This is actually the last episode, but don't worry. This is only season one, and there'll be more seasons to come, but only if you guys want them. So if you guys want to see a season two, make sure to go vote in the poll on this video. There will also be a poll on the community section of my channel where you guys can actually choose the theme for season two. Because this is the last episode, I figured we should do a world tour so I can show you guys everything that we've done so far. A little disclaimer though, um, some of these builds will look different than you probably remember because my game has been through so much. I have rebuilt this world probably three or four times fully off camera just because of all the bugs and the lag and the issues I've had with mods. So some of these buildings actually look different on the inside. It's just not in its original state. So if you guys want to see like the original builds interior, I would recommend going back through the playlist to see that. With that being said, let's start off this tour with my house. I love my house so much. I'm gonna miss it. I think it's so beautiful. So let's just hop on down here. Let's go check out the inside of my house. Also, again, I apologize for the lag that this video may have because right now I have 14 frames. It's great. It's really great. Okay, I love it. All right, so let's go in this way. Here is my living room. We got a beautiful piano and a fireplace. Here is a little seating area. Oh my gosh, this is so laggy. I apologize. <laughs> We have a little bathroom over here, and now let's go upstairs to my kitchen. Ooh, look how cute. I love this. We got some fruit hoops <laughs> and some donuts. We got a beautiful walk-in pantry over here. So beautiful. Oh, the memories. And then if we go upstairs again, this was my favorite floor. I love this so much. We have a little art section over here. We have a little living room over here, and this is another little like I don't know, bookshelf area. Then we have my YouTube studio. Oh my gosh, look, my gaming desk, my camera, my PC, my little YouTube plaque play button. Oh my gosh, guys, my green screen and my game consoles. Ah, uh, I love this house so much. And then if we go upstairs, you'll see my bedroom. Oh my gosh, I... Okay, low-key, kind of sad right now because I love this house so much. We're gonna have to build something 10 times cuter in season two or I'm gonna be sad because I love this room. We have such a cute little closet area built into the wall. We got all of our Polaroid pictures, our camera, our unicorn plushie, our cute little bed, of course, our sheep baby plush. Oh my God, I love you. It's time to say goodbye to my home. Oh my gosh, wait, I'm actually like sad about this. <laughs> Next to my house, I have a little rainbow sheep house with all my sheepy babies. Oh, hello. <gasps> hello, Twilight. Oh my gosh, you beautiful soul. I'm gonna miss you. I think we should have a rainbow sheep baby house in every season. What do you guys think? I think we have to do it. We will bring our sheeps with us through the seasons. It'll be great. Let's go back down this way and let's head on towards the original town because that is the laggiest part of this server. So uh, we should just get this done quickly so I don't burn your eyes with my super low frame rate. This place used to be great until the lag came in. Oh, look at this though. This is where it all started. This magical tree started everything. Let's start over here. If you guys remember, this was the arcade. But like I said, ahem. <laughs> It's currently empty. This is the OG art museum, guys. Do you remember when this was an art museum? It has since been converted into a daycare, which is actually very cute. Let's head on inside real quick just to give you guys a little look-see. Look at this. We got a little toy section. We have like arts and crafts section, a little place to watch TV, listen to music, and like a little reading corner and little sleeping spaces. It's adorable. Now next to the daycare, we have the toy store. And I think this is, uh, yeah, this is empty too, unfortunately. There's a dinosaur plush on the floor, hey. Oh my gosh, we guys, because these buildings on the inside are like empty, it kind of feels like we're moving out. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> my heart. But yeah, so this was the toy store. And then next to it was the library. So let's head on over here. We have another sad, empty interior. But those that watch the series will know how glorious it was in its prime. If we continue this way, we have the ice cream store, which again, 
empty on the inside because lag. Next to the ice cream store, we had a little clothing shop, which was right here. And then next to the clothing shop is the bakery. This is such an old build. I, I remember loving this. We got some little desserts and treats in here that you could buy, little tables that you can sit at. Next to the bakery, we have the flower shop. This one is so cute. I love this. Let's see, is there anything inside this one? <gasps> There is! We still have our flower shop sign, all of our little terrariums and our flowers on the wall and by the window. Oh, so cute! And then upstairs, we still have our flowers up here too! Next to the flower shop, we have what used to be the pet store. I did not realize that you could see this from this far away! <gasps> wait, maybe that's why my game is so laggy right now. What is my rent? What is my distance at? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's at 25. Do you think that matters? If I lower the distance to like 10. Will that reduce my lag? Oh, wow. How many frames do I have right now? 41 frames just from changing my render distance. Hmm. <laughs> well then. At least now we can continue the tour in this area without it being super laggy. Right by the pet store was the candy shop and it looks like there's still a few things left inside. And then in the middle of all of these buildings, we have this really pretty pond area with the tree of transformation in the middle. I love this thing so much. We're gonna definitely have to have one of these in the next season because I love how it makes the grass blue. Ugh, it's just so pretty. Okay, now if we continue down this path, we'll get to the other village buildings. Behind the bookstore, we had a little cat cafe, and then behind the ice cream store, we have a little pizza shop, and I think there's still stuff in this one, actually. Yeah, this is still the little pizza. Wait, got to the light on. <gasps> I got rid of the light! Oh, rip. <laughs> Next to the pizza place, we have the diner, and I love this build just because I think it looks really cool, but inside, I did have to get rid of the stuff from the item frames, but everything else is still pretty much here. We still have all the cute little boots and the bar seating, and of course, the pastries. Then next to the diner, we have the grocery store. This build was so fun, and I'm pretty sure most of everything is still inside this one, actually, so let's go head on in. <gasps> yes, everything is still pretty much here. We have the little bakery section. Over here, we have the produce section. Then we have the frozen food section along this back wall. Obviously, we have like aisles full of like tons of different foods and drinks and stuff. Over here, we have the little fish and meat section. For some reason, I got rid of the checkout counters in the checkout section. I don't remember why I did that, but uh, yeah. So this is the grocery store. And if we go out this way, you'll see we have a lot more things to look at. So let's go check all these out. The first one we're gonna look at is the party store. I love this build. Look how cute and rainbowy it is. We even have balloons out front. The inside, I remember, is a bit different. Oh, there's people in here. <gasps> Hello, people! But this is the party store. We got the floral section, the ice cream section, the cake section, a little checkout counter, and a little party decoration section. Next to the party store, we have the music store. This one is also very cool. And there's so many fun instruments inside. We have a wall of electric guitars. It is beautiful. Then there's records in the middle that you could buy. We have pianos, keyboards, microphones, drums, and a wall of speakers. Now next to this music store, we actually have a cute little salon and barber shop. This is what it looks like from the outside. And if we head on in, you guys will see that we have a little reception desk. This side is for barbering, this side is for hair cutting, and then in the middle we have like the little hair washing and drying section. And we also have a spot for manicures and pedicures. If we go by this way, you'll see the post office, and I'm pretty sure everything is still inside this one. Yes, it is. We still got the little desk, all the little mail in the back, and there's even like a little packaging room back here. Up this way, we have the bank, and we also have the little secret snowy path, but we'll go on that in a little bit. We're gonna finish these builds over here first. So, this is the bank, and this is the inside of the bank. It's very green and beautiful. And if you go over here, there's even a vault with money inside. Next to the bank, we have a movie theater. Movie theater. What happened to the E? That's weird, I don't remember breaking that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so inside here we have like some little lounge areas in the front and over here you can buy some snacks and across from there you can get your movie tickets. Once you have your tickets, you can walk on through here, give it to the little ticket girl and you can go on in to watch a movie. Now next to the movie theater, we have the furniture store right over here, but you guys might be kind of sad because 
it's very much empty inside here now. This was such a big build and there were so many items in here, they just, they just had to go. Over here, this was the little kitty ball crawl playroom area. And then let's see, upstairs, is there anything up here? Oh, no, <laughs> it's all gone. What about the downstairs? I even got rid of the stairs? Wait, what, why? Okay, this is pretty much gone too. We still have the carpet section though. So that was the last building that's in like this little section. Now we can go back this way and take that snowy path. This path leads to a beautiful place through the forest. If we just continue on down this way, you'll see we have the ice skating rink and the little Christmas tree farm. Over here we have the little hot chocolate stand and our beautiful Christmas store. So if we go in here, you'll see all of the cute little Christmas decorations. And if you guys remember from the video, something interesting happened. This ladder popped up and we were like, wait, what the heck is happening? And there's like a little office up here, which is weird. And there's a button that says employees only. So uh, we press this. And if you remember, we found a pretty magical place. Let's go give it a visit. It's the Christmas village. Oh my gosh, I love. Look at these cute little village houses, the candy cane mountains, the big tree in the middle. We have the little Christmas village clothing shop. What the, oh my God, there's still elves in here. Hey dude, what's up? There's more little village houses over there. And then the hot chocolate shop. Yes, look, hot chocolate. You can come in here and you can get some hot chocolate and some candy canes and cookies. <gasps> There's an elf walking around and she's going right into Santa's workshop. Well, I guess that's where we should go next. So this is Santa's workshop. <gasps> Santa's still here. Hello. And over here we have the little elves working on making some toys. And then right outside of the workshop, we have the reindeer stables. Oh my gosh, and they're all still here. Look at all the beautiful reindeer. Oh, you guys are so pretty. Okay, I think that was everything for the Christmas village. So let's head on back home. Another big build that we had was the school. Ah, uh, another cool build. I really like this one a lot. So we have the fun little rainbow bridge leading to the school. And if we go inside, you'll see we have a little lounge area. We have lockers everywhere. This is like the little main office in there. Then we have the little computer lab. Over here is the library full of books and fun studious things. Then down this way, we have more lockers, a little cafeteria, and over here, we have the gym. Then if you go upstairs, we have four classrooms and again, more lockers. So this is the math and science room. Ooh, look at these little microscopes. Then down this way, we have the music class. Oh, look at all the cute little instruments. Across from this way, we have art class. This is one of my favorite rooms. I think this one is so fun just because of the cute little banners and the photos and just the art supplies everywhere. Then if we leave the art room and go down this way, this is the language arts and history classroom. Now if we fly from the school and go over this way, we have the rainbow neighborhood. I'm not gonna go into every single one of these houses because we have quite a few of them, but this is what the cute little neighborhood looks like. All of the houses are pretty much the same. If you guys remember the episodes, oh my God, there's still people here. What's up, Kaylee? Who's this? Owen? Hi. Let's go inside the pink house. This was Avery's house. Aw, so we have a little living room, a little bathroom. We have a cute little kitchen area. And then upstairs, we have the bedroom. Like I said, most of these houses are the same, but if you did want to take a look on the inside of what everything looks like, you can always go back through the playlist. Then right by the Rainbow Neighborhood, we have Pixel Park. So this is like the little park information building. Over here, we have the pool where you can go swimming. There's even like diving boards and there's a kiddie pool back here. Then we have little gazebos, little places to barbecue and eat your food. There's a little ice cream truck. Then we have a tennis court, a basketball court, and of course, we have a super cute playground. Before we keep going this way in my world, I wanna go back this way just so that we don't miss anything. So over here, you'll see that we have another rainbow bridge, but this time, this leads to the little vet and adoption center for animals. And if we go inside, we have all these little people still here working at their desks. <gasps> Wait, there's a deer in here, hey. Oh, interesting. <laughs> but this is the front of the vet. These are the little waiting areas. This is the little check-in counter. And then we have four little doctor rooms where your pets can get taken care of. 
Behind the vet, we have the hospital and the fire station. I'm not gonna go in the hospital though, just because it is quite a big build. So if you wanna see the interior to this or anything else, just make sure to refer back to the playlist, but you guys can pretty much see what's going on through these windows. On the roof, we have a helicopter, and in this little garage, we have some ambulances. Then right next to the hospital, we have the fire station with these cool fire trucks. You can see through the window here, this is like the little workout room. And if you look through this window, you can see the little hangout section, their meeting table, and their kitchen. If I fly over this way, you guys will see like the farming area. So over here, we have my cute little farmhouse. Hmm, I found an interesting bug. For some reason, when I turn this way, the cow turns purple. What? 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 Anyway, so this was my little animal village area. So this was the dog house. Then we have the bunny house and of course, the little cat house. Over here is where all the crops on the farm are grown. We have a cute little barn. Over here we have some horse stables and we have all these little rainbow food stands where people are selling different crops. <gasps> oh my gosh, I almost forgot about my rainbow tree house. We must go inside this. This is literally so cute. So to get into my tree house, you gotta go up the water and it'll bring you to a little hello welcome mat. There's even a doorbell. Hello. But this first floor little area is just like a little storage and lookout spot where you can walk around the whole tree house and just see like literally everything that we've built. If you go back this way, we have a little ladder where you can come up to the kitchen. And if you go up the ladder again, you can go out this way. This is another little balcony area with some little crops growing. But then you can walk around this way where we have my office. And over here we have a little living room. This. Is the bathroom still here? No, okay, this used to be a bathroom. Don't know where the toilet went, <laughs> but this is my bedroom. Ah, she be plush, I love you. If you come back over here where the ladder was and if you were to stay on it all the way up, this actually takes you to a cute little lookout tower. And that's pretty much my rainbow tree house. So if we fly past the rainbow neighborhood over here, we have the zoo. Do you guys remember the zoo episode? Oh my gosh, look how crazy this is. All of my animals are still here. What the heck, they didn't die? That's amazing. I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough of the zoo just because I love this so much. This episode was so much fun to do, but this is the entrance. If you go inside, here's where you can get your little tickets. Oh, look at all of this. This way we have some zebras and giraffes. What is in here? Meerkats, oh, the meerkats. Then over here we have some monkeys. We have some gorillas. We have some lions and tigers, hey. Oh, this is our cute little cafe where you can get some food and stuff, love that. Oh, this was the bird and butterfly sanctuary and I'm pretty sure all of the butterflies died. Yep, it's just birds. I think they ate all the butterflies, oh, oops. Let's head on out this way where we have the snakes, ooh. And we have some crocodiles. Hey, we got some hippos. Over here is like the little gift shop where you can buy stuff. A little snack stand. <gasps> Our little polar bears, hello friends. Ooh, we got the elephants over here. What's up, dude? Then back here we have the aquarium stuff. So we got some jellyfish. We have a tank with sea turtles and sharks and a bunch of little fishies and stuff. Uh, how did you? Excuse me. How did he get out of there? What? Okay, I mean, have fun. We have some reptiles over here. We got some little tree frogs over here. Oh, hey, how, whoa, whoa, whoa. how did this fish get, how did the fish get, where are you going? Well, the fish escaped the glass somehow and it died. Can I just, there you go. Over here we have a walrus and over here we have the dolphins, but they're all like under the water for some reason. Hello dolphins, what are you doing? And then I think the last exhibit is the penguins. Oh, look at their little faces. Did I miss any animals? Oh wait, the red pandas, hi. Now if we fly away from the zoo and go this way, you guys will see the tropical resort. And this was kind of a recent build, so you'll probably notice right away that it looks very different than when I originally built it. And that's because when I did this, I was using the Trappy Craft mod. And that mod kind of broke my game, so I had to get rid of it. And by getting rid of it, 
it got rid of the blocks that I used so all of these tiki houses don't have their roofs anymore. So these were all the little tiki houses and over here we had the bonfire, the little tiki bar area, the snack bar with the pool. The majority of the stuff is still pretty much here but it's just like, you know, we're missing a lot of cool palm trees. Next to the tropical resort is another one of my favorite things, the water park. I love this so much. I love this octopus. Look at his little face. It's so cute. We have like water slides everywhere, a little kitty water playground. There's a wave pool over here, another pool over here. Obviously we have a gift shop and some bathrooms and lockers over there. There's snack stands. There's even a lazy river going all around the park. And of course over here, this is from a separate video, but we have the rainbow hotel. I'm not gonna go inside this because all the floors basically look the same. I'll show you guys the blue floor. This is the little room that you can get if you stay at the Rainbow Hotel. But yeah, so we have the travel resort over there, the water park over here, and the hotel right there. I think this is as far out as my builds go this way. So now we have to fly all the way over at this end. <laughs> the first thing to look at is the camp our cute little campsite. So there's a big lake with cabins all around it. These are so cute. Let's go inside this one over here. This is our cute little purple cabin. And when you walk in, you got a fire, a little place to sit, a little baby kitchen area, and obviously some bunks. And then this over on the top of the mountain is like the main cabin. And when I did this video, this was the Christmas cabin, so I still kind of have a Christmas tree. I think I got rid of most of the Christmas decorations in here. Oh, no, this is still very much Christmassy. Okay, so this is the living room. Over here was the kitchen. And then upstairs, we just had a couple of bedrooms that you can see through these windows. Now across from the campsite and past my house, this is actually where I ended up building the strip mall, if you guys remember, is right here. We have so many cute little stores. So we have the arts and crafts store. The next to that, we have the food court. Next to the food court, we have a little tech store. Next to that, we have a pharmacy. Then we have a clothing store. Next to the clothing store, we have a sports store. And of course, we have a Starblocks coffee shop. Now, if we go past the strip mall, eventually, you guys will see my rainbow sheep castle. Look how beautiful it is. <laughs> it's so funny, it's so cute and colorful. We have our king sheep and our queen sheep guarding the castle. And inside the castle, we basically just have a bunch of rainbow colored sheep. And of course, at the end, we have the jebs. If we fly over the mountains this way, this eventually leads you to the art museum. So we have our big pencil statues out front, and if we go inside, you'll see all of the artwork that we got during this first season. Seriously, look at all this stuff. You guys are seriously so talented. Everything is so beautiful. While I'm here, I should probably mention that art museums aren't gonna go anywhere. So if you guys have submitted artwork and you haven't seen it in an episode yet, don't worry because I will be adding art museums to every season of Crafting with Catherine. Okay, now I think there's only a few more places to look at if we fly over back this way. We have the circus. So we have all these little baby circus tents full of stuff like tickets and gift shop items and snacks. Over here we have the bathroom tent and then we have the main circus tent. So in here you'll see that there's people watching the show, there's a bunch of cute little animals and people doing their acts. Then I think if we keep going this way, it'll eventually take us to the airport. I remember building this kind of far away. It might be right behind this mountain. <gasps> it is! Here's the airport! I want to fly around because I don't know if you guys got a good view of this in the original video. So this is what the outside of my airport looks like. We have a cool plane on the runway. Then we have the baby planes over here. Everything is just so cute. I guess I could go inside real quick. So over here, we just have the baggage claim section. Then there's a little store. This is where you can get your tickets and rental cars. Up here, you would go through security. And then this is where you can hang out and wait for your flights. To the right of the airport, we actually have a pretty old build over here from a year ago, if you guys remember this one. In the middle of the lake, we have the haunted house. There's cobwebs everywhere, there's little candles and pumpkins, and these cute little floating ghosts. There's even a creepy little graveyard over here. But if we go inside, let's see. Ooh, we have the wall of heads. We have a little living room. Upstairs, we have like a little brewing and library room. Look at this. Look at all the potions. And then look at our little enchanting library. 
Then through the vines, we have a little kitchen. Over here, there's a bedroom, and this is just like a little tower. And then all the way up top here, there's a bathroom. <laughs> now, if we fly back over this way, we'll actually see one of my most recent builds. It's the theme park. So let's fly over the theme park to show you guys everything. Oh my gosh, my horses are still going around the carousel and the llamas are still bouncing. <laughs> <laughs> I love that ride so much. Okay, so here is the theme park, guys. We have roller coasters, a Ferris wheel, a cute little castle arcade place, a food court, a bouncing llama ride, we have a carousel, a boat ride, we have teacups, of course, a gift shop, of course, and over here, we have a go-kart track. All right, guys, well, that's pretty much everything that we've built in season one of Crafting with Catherine. I just want to take a second to say thank you guys so much for all the love on this series. I hope you're excited for more seasons to come. Make sure to vote in the poll to help me decide what the next theme for season two should be. If any of you guys have missed an episode of season one, I will link the full playlist on this video so you can check those out. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Bye.